Have you ever gotten close to a human walking on the street only to realize it was a robot? As ludicrous as that sounds, Engine AI just released an update on their latest project to create humanoid robots that mimic our natural gait, and it's jaw-dropping. But before that, we have to talk about the first synthetic AI human with real muscles that blur the lines between us and machines. Clone Robotics is working on a project that could change how we view robots and close the gap between humans and machines. The startup company shared a video on its official YouTube page of a biomagnetic android robot with a human's shoulders, neck, and torso. With detailed human anatomical structures like the glenohumeral, scapulothoracic, acromioclavicular, and sternoclavicular joints in place, the stark white robot recreated eerily similar human-like movements with artificial muscles. Under the torso demo, many viewers couldn't help but note how eerily similar the robot looked to something straight out of the American sci-fi series Westworld. The startup company also shared videos of their synthetic hand that, composed of lifelike fingers and wrists, could form a fist and spread its fingers individually. Powered by hydraulic muscles, this robot flawlessly simulated the strength and flexibility of real muscles, giving the eerie feeling of a human hand detached from his body. But as creepy as it might seem, we're closer than ever to having robots that move as seamlessly as real humans. So where slow, precise, and stiff movements would usually be a dead giveaway that you're dealing with a robot, Clone Robotics' hydraulic muscles are making it impossible to tell. CEO Danush Radhakrishnan pointed out that he and his co-founder, Lucas, have been working on this project since 2014. The duo set out to make biomimetic, super-intelligent androids and have been relentless in improving the biomechanics and scaling up for production. In an interview with Robotic Reports, Danush highlighted how creating such lifelike human muscles requires solving a lot of problems, like creating multiple functional joints or accounting for the different sizes of muscles and tendons in your hand. However, the founders were relentless in trying to create artificial muscles and were able to get around these challenges by utilizing hydraulic muscles with valves that use a pump and motor, like in a washing machine. Despite human hands being one of the most complex parts of our anatomy, they decided to start making prototypes, believing hacking would be the most relevant way to solve their problems kind of like getting the hardest stuff out of the way first. And that was how they were able to create an actuator with a rubber tube surrounded by a fiber braided sleeve. They also had to make custom bones, valves, muscles, and sensors from scratch so it could work. For context, when you want to move your hand, your brain sends signals to your muscles which cause the fibers to contract and relax, creating flexible and fluid movement. When these muscles cross a joint, they can then cause your fingers to form a pincer grip to pick up your pen or your shoulders to swing when you're playing baseball. This complex organic system is difficult to recreate in robots without muscles or nearly enough joints. Which is what makes Clone Robotics' approach so genius. They recreated human-like movement by swapping muscles for fluid-filled cylinders. So, whenever the robot receives the signal to move, pressurized fluid within these cylinders forces the pistons to extend or retract, creating a seamless motion that mimics a human hand. Combining these hydraulic systems with sensors allows it to gauge how many pressure it exerts, enabling it to perform complex and delicate movements like humans. At the same time, hydraulic muscles can also exert high levels of force consistently, giving them an edge in lifting heavy loads compared to a human hand. They also aren't subject to the biological constraints that cause fatigue in our hands. Prior to their muscle-like actuators, you could only create human-like robotic movements through classical control with a human wearing a glove that allowed the robot to mimic such movement. But Clone Robotics' artificial muscles are fully autonomous which has potential use cases in creating better human prosthetics with unmatched levels of mobility and dexterity from what we currently have. However, the company has confirmed that they're committed to making androids first before exploring the possibility of prosthetics. 
Still, that doesn't mean people living with disabilities would have to wait till we have perfect human-like robots. Once the first few samples become publicly available, other companies could reverse engineer the mechanics behind these clone robotics' lifelike hands and implement that knowledge in making groundbreaking prosthetics. Besides, they could also be helpful in healthcare as robot tools for complex operations where surgeons need fine precision. Even industries like agriculture could benefit from having hydraulic muscle-powered robots complete labor-intensive tasks like harvesting or tilling which require more precision handling skills. The company's goal is to make low-cost musculoskeletal androids with human-level hands trade to perform all the common labor needed for daily life. So we might have to adapt to a world where these humanoid robots are a regular part of our lives. Right now, Clone Robotics is planning to scale up its manufacturing and enter commercial markets as soon as it creates a compact energy supply. And one of the solutions they're looking at is an electro-hydraulic robot that can run the entire day without charge. As Dinesh puts it, we are not interested in making an android that is going to run like Boston Dynamics Atlas for an hour and then need a recharge. Robot-powered hands that can perform complex surgeries or pick fruits for an entire day without cramping up would instantly cause productivity to shoot up in all sectors, but it would also threaten a lot of jobs. After all, why hire four farmhands to work eight-hour shifts when you could buy one pair of android hands and a torso? And with Clone Robotics announcing that bimanual training is already in progress, their hydraulic muscles could be available for commercial purchase sooner than you think. When this bimanual training is complete, it means the robot will be able to perform tasks with both hands and could effectively complete complex chores like laundry or washing the dishes without breaking your plates. Well, at least we could turn it off after a hard day's work and leave it on a shelf, right? Not exactly. Like Clone Robotics, other companies are also working towards recreating human-like movement in our lower limbs. The Chinese-based robotics company Engine AI sent shockwaves around the engineering world when they released a video of a human-sized robot with a natural gait. At first glance, this might seem like an unremarkable achievement, especially considering Tesla and other robotics companies have been teasing us with humanoid AI assistance. However, if you've ever seen any of their videos, you've probably noticed the classic clunky, awkward, and mechanical movements the robots have when they're walking across the room, and that's quite understandable. As seamless as it might seem, walking is an incredibly complicated movement that requires several muscles to work together in synergy to prevent you from falling over. Just think about how long it takes babies to learn how to walk properly or even if you have a sprained toe. Besides, when you consider how difficult it is for screws and bolts to mimic fluid human movement, it's no surprise that even with the right understanding of the biomechanics behind walking, recreating it remained a challenge for robotics companies until now. So how did Engine AI manage to subvert expectations where other robotics companies still struggled? Well, the bulk of it comes down to their innovative end-to-end -end neural network model. Unlike other humanoid models that rely on a set of pre-programmed instructions to get around like a game avatar, the SE-01 prioritizes its sensory input over rigid codes. This difference allows the robot to utilize visual and balance feedback in real time and adapt its steps according to its environment. Like you using your eyes and sensations about your body's position to walk upright. The SE-01 uses multiple cameras and gyroscopes to anticipate balance shifts and adjust its foot to produce a human-like gait. Of course, these machines also use AI to process thousands of data sets on human movements to help them learn how to walk. It does this so quickly, its footsteps are so fluid and lifelike. Throw on a pair of joggers and a hoodie and put this machine on the street and you might not even be able to tell the difference between it and a real human from behind. Besides building an impressive end-to-end -end neural network, Engine AI also put a lot of work into designing and making the robots as biochemically accurate as possible. Compared to other humanoid bots that are merely built to match humans in scales like height and weight, the SC-01 also has highly realistic limb structures and joint systems. Each leg contains six degrees of freedom across the hip, 
knee, and ankle joints, and 32 degrees across its entire body. It might not sound like much, but these figures go a long way in contributing to its smooth walking pattern. Considering Engine AI also uses a lightweight material like aerospace-grade aluminum alloy, these human-like robots are quite durable and cheap to recreate, which could accelerate the timeline for mass production. And that might be a good thing when we consider their use case across different industries. They could help health workers carry medical equipment or support patients with mobility needs, making healthcare more efficient. Their ability to adapt to different environments could also come in handy on a construction site when performing inspections or other tasks in hazardous areas or on rough terrain. A bulletproof version of the SC-01 or other robots with human-like movement could even be helpful in covert military operations to distract the enemy while human operatives slip under the shadows. With so many applications across different sectors, it's no surprise that other companies are working towards the same goals. And if we learned anything about AI, it's that it's always rapidly advancing, so it won't be long before other companies crack the code and robots with human-like movements flood the market. Engine AI has also shared its plans to perfect home and industrial applications of the SC-01 by the end of 2024 and produce over 1,000 units in 2025. So, who knows? In a few years, robots with clunky footsteps and stiff knees could become as antique as a flip phone. But as impressive as AI with human-like features that can do a fist bump or keep up with you during a marathon is, they don't have to be that complicated to threaten human jobs. One Chinese factory in Dongguan, China, faced some backlash when they fired 90% of their human workforce and replaced them with machines. Before AI technology rolled on the scene, the company needed 650 workers on their production line to assemble mobile phones and other gadgets. But thanks to automated robot arms that can work around the clock, they only needed 60 workers to keep their operations running smoothly, with most of the humans that still have a job being responsible for maintaining the machines. In other words, their employer only keeps them around to service the robots, which essentially diminishes their value in business operations. And with AI-powered bots becoming more durable and less prone to breakdowns, it's no wonder the company plans to drop its human workforce to a dismal 20. As heartbreaking as that is, it's only bound to get worse, as other factories will eventually follow suit. Unfortunately, China is not isolated in adopting AI technology at the expense of its human workers. Kuryanet, a Turkish-owned parcel distribution company, has now become Europe's largest robotic sorting company. With a fleet of over 700 autonomous yellow robots, the company located at the edge of Istanbul processes an impressive 45,000 items per hour. Each robot, similar in size to your home's Roomba vacuum cleaner, takes up only a fifth of the floor space for a modern conveyor system. With a 10 kilogram loading capacity, there's no doubt that they're a lot more efficient too. Besides, these mini bots also come in with built-in sensors that reduce the risk of them bumping into each other and creating a workplace hazard. Daria, the manager of operations at KoreaNet, said, Our aim is to become a global brand in the parcel delivery sector. We believe that automation is the key to our success, and we have always been early adopters of pioneering technology and systems. In America, leading robotics companies like Tesla are putting AI bots to work in their factories with a 99.9% .9 performance accuracy. And with plans to launch Optimus Bot in factories in 2025, humanoid robots in the workforce could potentially make things worse. Even considering the high upfront costs that could come with purchasing these machines, for many companies, it's a lot cheaper than human labor in the long run. After all, you have to keep paying wages, because unlike their real-life counterparts, humanoid robots don't need to, well, eat or pay rent. Besides, when you consider how these bots can work around the clock without breaks, except for an occasional recharge, it's no wonder their productivity shoots through the roof. And who wouldn't want to tell their stakeholders they made over 200% more in revenue?
With so many forward-thinking robotics companies looking to release thousands of humanoid robots in the coming decade, it's entirely possible our android companions could outnumber us. Considering global birth rates have been declining, the UN speculates that our world population is most likely to peak at 9.8 billion by 2025. On the flip side, at the 8th Future Investment Initiative in Saudi Arabia, Tesla founder Elon Musk predicted that there would be 10 billion humanoid robots available for sale in 2040. In other words, AI-powered bots could easily outnumber us by a full decade or even more. That means for every human, there would be at least one synthetic robot that could walk and move just like you. Would we, well, even be able to tell the difference? Or would these bots seamlessly blend into everyday life? How do you think the mass production of synthetic AI with human-like movements will change our society? Will the increased productivity and workplace efficiency be able to outweigh the negative effects of millions of people potentially losing their jobs? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and support me as easily as just giving this video a like.